Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk a bit about how to properly clean and adjust your micrometers so they read zero. Now cleaning is the most important part and the first thing that you should do because you want to make sure that the anvil faces there don't have any chips on them or lint or anything that could potentially affect your measurement. Any foreign matter there is going to affect your measurement. So for a zero to one inch micrometer like this one or if it was a zero to 25 millimeter micrometer the proper way to clean them would be to grab a sheet of office paper like this. Everyone's got that lying around. And you just close the micrometer down on the paper, pull the paper out, and that's going to remove any chips that are in there and absorb any oil. Now that your micrometer is clean, you can go ahead and close it all the way and see if it actually reads zero. And when I do this, I always use the friction thimble or ratchet thimble that's equipped on the micrometer. That way, you know that it's stopping at the same point every single time. That's what that's there for. If you try to use the stationary portion of the thimble here, um, and just kind of let your fingers slide, you get a lot of variance. I mean, you can actually squeeze this down and make it read zero if you really wanted to. That doesn't mean that the measurement is actually zero. Now, I think you can see on camera, I've purposely knocked this one out a little bit. It's off by about six tenths. And let's go ahead and adjust it. All micrometers are going to come with a little adjusting spanner like this. It's a pin spanner. And there's a hole on the back side of the barrel that that pin goes into. So you would put that in there. Let's make sure that's totally closed. I usually put the lock on as well just so I don't bump the thimble. And then you're going to adjust this so it actually reads zero. Now after you adjust it, you want to open it and close it a few times to make sure that it is actually reading zero on you. And that looks pretty decent right there. Now the same basic process is used for larger micrometers too. Intrametric, whether it's a 1 to 2 inch mic like this or a, a 24 to 25 inch mic it doesn't matter you're still going to use the same process the only difference is, is you can't clean these by closing them on a sheet of paper they don't go down that far what you're going to use is a lint-free cloth to clean your anvil faces both of them as well as your micrometer standard this is a one inch standard because I have a one to two inch mic and then once they're clean go ahead and close it just like normal Anytime you're measuring anyway, you want to give it a little wiggle to make sure that the part is well seated on the micrometer. And then again, I lock my zero. And this one is slightly off. It's not much. It's about two tenths. And that's a bit of a hazard. I want to tell you about that. Um, what happens when it's off by just a tiny little bit is you go to adjust this barrel and they don't really want to move. I mean, they shouldn't move easily because then they'd be getting knocked out all the time. So uh, what happens is you'll go to adjust that barrel and it sticks and it sticks and when it finally releases you jump onto the other side of zero. What I do when it's out by just a tiny little bit is to go ahead and knock it out by a lot. By knocking it out by more than just a tiny little bit you've got a little bit more wiggle room and you get that initial resistance out of the way that usually makes you jump back and forth across zero and then you can go ahead and move it into position and likewise you would go ahead and check it again re-zero it and make sure that it is reading correctly and that one looks pretty good too I hope this helps thank you for watching and I'll see you next time